Hi everyone, it's Katie. Today we're going to be doing the progression of a plank. The first thing you want to decide when you're doing a plank is do you want to do your plank on your elbows or do you want to do your plank on your hands? So make that decision. <laughs> a plank involves, doesn't just involve your core, it involves your core, it involves your lower back because the longer you hold a plank you'll feel that your back will want to bow and so you need both your core and your lower back to be strong in order to stabilize your body and keep it straight. The other body parts that you need to strengthen are your shoulders and your wrists in some cases if you want to do the plank on your hand. So whenever you're in a push-up position or in your plank position on your hands, your wrist gets a lot of strain and all those tendons. So the longer you hold a plank on your hands, you might feel pain in your wrist. So you want to make sure that you just take time to stretch your wrist you know, up and down. And getting more flexibility in your wrist along with maybe um, light, light weight doing wrist curls will help strengthen your wrist so it does not hurt during a plank. Okay, let's get started. Don't drop to the floor. Go to the easier level until you make it to the minute mark, okay? And then if you can't do that level, drop down again to an easier level, okay? You don't drop to the floor until you make it to the easiest level and you just can't hold it any longer, okay? <laughs> okay? because that's how you get better. That's how you're gonna be able to do a plank. You just push yourself just a little bit further. 